Hello, and welcome to the Analog Write Energia video tutorial. Today, we are going to show you how to write an analog output to fade seven LEDs up and down, one by one, using the MSP-EXP430G2 launchpad with Energia. Before exploring the code, you will need to set up the hardware according to the schematic displayed. Connect the longer positive or anode legs of seven LEDs to digital pins P1.2, P1.6, P2.1, P2.2, P2.4, P2.5, and P2.6 through 220 ohm current limiting resistors. The shorter negative or cathode legs of the LEDs are connected to ground. Using the breadboard and hookup wire to make our connections, the hardware setup should look similar to the circuit diagram displayed. Based on the Energia pin mapping guide, we can see that all seven pins capable of using the analog write function are populated with the series combination of a resistor and LED. Once you have completely set up the hardware, plug the launch pad into your computer over USB. Next, let's open up Energia. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Analog, Analog Write. We can see that we have a setup and a loop portion of our code. In setup, we build the framework and foundation of our project. Thus, a for loop is used here to assign the analog write capable digital pins of the launch pad as outputs. That's all we have to do in setup. Moving down to the loop section, this is where our sketch will run continuously. In the loop function, three for loops are used. The main for loop moves through each of the LEDs one by one from the lowest numbered pin to the highest. Before this loop is allowed to move from one pin to the next, two things must be accomplished. First, you brighten the individual LEDs through the highlighted lines of the second for loop's code. With each pass through the highlighted for loop, the variable brightness increases by one point, and that value is written to the pin currently selected in the main for loop. Once that pin reaches the maximum PWM value of 255, the final or third for loop kicks in. This highlighted loop subtracts a point from the brightness variable, dimming the LED back down to zero. Once zero is reached, the main or first for loop is re-entered, and the program moves on to the next LED pin, repeating all the steps previously mentioned. And that's it. Just run your code by pressing the verify and download button, and watch as each LED's brightness fades to increase and decrease one by one.